Commander John Jameson's crash site and final resting place has been found, and that's what we're going to look at today. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. The crash site for Commander Jameson has been found, and that's what we're going to look at today. But before we go on, I just want to say there will be spoilers in um, in today's video. So if you want to go out and explore the lore in the game for yourself, this video might not be for you. But if you're just generally interested in what's going on and uh, and think the story is interesting, well, stick around because we're going to see what the, what the, this crash site has to offer. So the crash site was found in um, in HIP 12099 at uh, planet 1 moon B. At the coordinates is also a description. Um, I'll post everything down there so you can go and you can visit it yourself if you wish to. Um, and here we can see on the crash site, of course, is Cobra Mark III. And first, I want to talk a bit about who Commander Jameson was and, and why he is a significant person in the lore of Elite. Commander Jameson was a independent pilot, independent commander living in the 3100s. And he was originally um, recruited by INRA, the organization that was behind the um, the downfall of the Thargoids last time they attacked, and like last time there was a war with them. He was hired by them to deliver the mycoid virus to the hive ships, which led to the downfall of uh, the Thargoids. He is also the great grandfather of um, Laurie Jameson, which is of course one of the engineers. So as you can see, the the whole family tree seems to have a rather important uh, place in uh, in the lore around Elite and the whole universe. But at the crash site, as you can see here, there are a lot of small canisters lying around, and there's also some uh, uh, audio logs that you can, uh, can listen to when you scan some of the data points that are also scattered around the crash site. And I actually just think that uh, he explains the whole situation very well himself, what happened. So, um, I think I'm just gonna give it over to Commander John Jameson and let him explain what actually happened. Hey there, kiddo. Now, I know I said I'd be coming home soon, but they've asked me to do something, something important. And I uh, couldn't say no. I wanted to be there, believe me, but uh, sometimes you have to make sacrifices. And, uh, well, this is one of those times. I don't know if that makes much sense to you, but maybe it will do when you're older. Anyway, I thought I'd send you this log. I know it's not the same as being there in person, but uh, it's the best I could do. I'm sorry. I'm not really supposed to talk about my mission, but if I'm going to miss your birthday, the least I could do is give you a good story. Consider yourself sworn to secrecy, soldier, okay? <laughs> I'm sitting in the cockpit, waiting for the old clear. Uh, they want to tinker with her for a while first, but they don't seem to have done any harm. All systems online, everything's... everything's looking good. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't feeling just a little jittery. Uh, you know, I've fought bugs before, sure, but... never more than one at a time. Flying up to one of their high shifts, well... well that's a whole different story. Hell, I don't even know what I'm carrying. Classified, they said. All I know is it's designed to target the bugs I drive so they won't be able to leave the system. Of course, if it doesn't work, I'm just kicking the hornet's nest. <laughs> and that's why I've set my nav system to jump out as soon as I've deployed the payload. You know, can't be too careful. Wish me luck. That was almost too easy. Thread my way past the perimeter, mass my heat signature so it get close to the superstructure. <sighs> I tell you, I've never seen a hive ship up close before. Doubt many people have. <sighs> it was amazing, kiddo. Beautiful, really. Makes you realize just how smart they are, how how advanced. I admit it. <sighs> I hesitated for a moment before I hit the button. 
I had to remind myself it wasn't them I was attacking, just their technology. Uh, as if this microwave virus of theirs even works. Oh, man. I watched the payload rocket into the belly of their ship and stuck around just long enough to make sure it hit home. Then I punched the throttle. Whoa! Whew. I'm coming home, kiddo. I'm coming home. supposed to target the hyperdrives. That's what they told me, just the hyperdrives, so we'd be safe again, so we could live without fear. Well, it did a hell of a lot more than that. There were sensors on the payload so I could monitor the reaction and make sure it activated properly. I I'm staring at the data now. It, the, the weapon is... Lethal. They knew what it could do. They knew what it could do, and they used it anyway. How many have we killed? Thousands? Millions? God forgive us. Got myself a bit of a situation here, kiddo. My guess is that they installed a program in my ship and set it to trigger after I deployed the payload. All my systems are dead. The uh, controls are out. Can't even access the escape pod. And the ship is on a collision course. <laughs> and there is nothing I can do about it. We need to inspect your ship, Commander. <laughs> How did I fall for a ruse like that? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm at least partly to blame. Gotten old, careless. I should have quit years ago. I guess I should have known they wouldn't be coming back. And the bugs are dangerous, no doubt about it. But, uh, well, this is mass murder we're talking about. Uh, you can understand why they want to keep it a secret. <laughs> I know some men wouldn't want to admit they've killed thousands of sentient beings. Uh, I guess... I guess the guys back at base think they're doing me a favor by burying me out here in the black. Personally, I'd rather people knew what happened. Even if I didn't come out of it looking too good. I don't have much time. There's a big old plan in my viewport, and it's getting bigger in a second. People will talk about what I did after I'm gone, the missions I flew, the things I accomplished. There's something I want you to remember. No matter what they say, whatever garlands they hang on my name, whatever they write in my tombstone, you. You were my greatest achievement. I love you, son. <laughs>